In the late fall of 2021, I set out to build a portage from a gravel pit along Highway 135 into Marshall Lake. I've had this trip in the back of my mind for quite some time and was finally convinced to do it when I came across a map on Kississing Lake Lodge's website. The map was a Marshall Lake and it showed all the prime fishing locations for trout, pike, and walleye. There's something about getting into a fly-in lake without the cost of a fly-in that I really find satisfying. It's actually the reason why I started canoeing in the first place. But this was even better. Usually I have to spend a lot of time and energy locating the fish. Now, with the aid of a map, I could easily fish all the hot spots, save a ton of time and effort, and have a boatload of fish to boot. But things don't always go as planned. On the first day of the trip, I was cutting portage from the gravel pit to an unnamed lake. As I was cutting, it was evident that I was feeling more run down than usual. During the second day, I was feeling more fatigued, but managed to finish the portage and was able to explore the area between the undamed lake and Marshall Lake. On the third day, it became painfully obvious that I needed to go home. I could no longer taste or smell, and I could barely move after a long sleepless night. Looks like I'm going to have unfinished business until next spring. Well, that's kind of cool to start off the trip. Mama doesn't look too happy. Three cubs. Oh, it looks like they're coming this way. I better take off. See you later, Mama. Hit the sack here right away. Uh, I just got to get my headlamp and maybe some bear protection. So the bears are out, obviously. Yeah, I'm just glad to get out of my vehicle. That was a long drive. Don't mind doing that, uh, you know, if I start at the beginning of the day or like early in the morning. It's not so bad, but uh, when you get off of work and then you hop in the truck and you have to drive seven hours up here, it's a little too much. So I'm ready to hit the sack, maybe read a little bit, uh, drink a little bit of water, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can fall asleep right away and get a good night's sleep. Damn, so I was worried about this. Gotta get up there, but they're slowly using this gravel pit and they pushed a bunch of rocks in and they pushed over these trees. Oh, 
there we go. That's where I'm heading. Remember the first time I came here, I couldn't see the lake in behind, it was so smoky. Yeah. Trick man, I can't wait to wet a paddle. Just one winter really faded these uh, markers that I put up, the, the flagging. Faded quite a bit. Yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that this portage is still in decent shape. For the most part, this is pretty, this is pretty dandy. All right. Awesome. That wasn't so bad. It was 600 and some meters, but uh, at least when you're starting out, it's all downhill. Going back, I'm gonna be glad my pack is lighter because it's all uphill. I gotta go get my canoe. I'll see you guys back down here. Looks like, from the weather report, today's gonna be the nice day. It's supposed to get overcast in the evening and start the rain. But then it's supposed to rain on and off the whole weekend I'm here. So I'm gonna soak the sunlight up as much as I can. Hopefully I can get into uh, Marshall Lake here real quick. There's a little stream that I have to go down. I'm not sure how full that stream is gonna be. I'm hoping fairly full. So yeah, there's already a decent portage trail. It's not like that, that other one. You know what? I think I might be able to put a canoe in here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Gotta give it a try though. Oh yeah, I can.
like a bit of a beaver dam right here. I wonder if I can just pull over. But you know, there's like a portage here, there's some cut marks and a bit of a trail. Really wasn't expecting this one. I was expecting one beaver down, but not two. A little paddle right there there was a ton of pike and a whole shit ton of suckers in there it was amazing actually um, if you want to make sucker head soup or can suckers i mean this is the place to be right now go for a stop recording Well, final, final portage. There is a portage here, so landing isn't sexy, but I made a baby. Marshall Lake. F yeah. Okay, just charging back up. I think I'm gonna beeline it to the center of the lake where there's, most of the lake's been burnt out and burnt out really bad and there's not a lot of regrowth yet. At the middle of the lake, there's a strip that didn't get burnt. So I'm gonna head over there from the satellite imagery. It looked like there's actually some good potential for, for camping. And um, I'm gonna see if I can snag myself a spot. Like I'm gonna have neighbors. God damn it. Okay, this island behind me, it is the island that the lodge is on, or the sorry, the outpost camp with Kissing Lake Lodge. Um, there's a couple other islands around this area too as well, like just to the north of here. Um, looks like it has a uh, really good camping on it like just from first glances it's still far away but yeah they look really good so there's one one over here this one i'm going to check the other side and there's a couple more over here that look freaking prime from the distance anyway i'm pretty optimistic that uh, i can find a pretty sweet site here and hopefully i can get a west facing and if that happens awesome man i'm just sitting pretty all i have to do is catch fish after that yeah
This is uh, this is the site. Like any any bridge in sight, there's gonna be a little bit of cleanup, but it seems pretty good. Lots of rocks. I think I can put a tent there. Fire and tarp here. Just gotta move some of this wood out of the way. Or I even put my tent here. I'll put my fire somewhere else. I think this is it. I think this is where I'm staying for the night. Yeah, so everything's pretty much done right now. Um, all my firewood is done, my tarp's up, my tent's up. Uh, my batteries are charging right now, actually. I probably gotta switch a couple over. This should be close to being done. My food's ready to go. Uh, my steak's cooling in the lake right now. I didn't want it to get all nasty. Uh, same thing with a tub of minnows. Yeah, everything's kind of organized. I know it doesn't really look that way right now, but it's. Uh, I'll fix it up here a little bit later. Um, so yeah, I was just thinking about maybe going and wetting a line. I keep on feet hearing fish jump out there, so I'm getting a little bit antsy. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to have pike back in this bay. God, it's just turned beautiful out. I can't believe it's going to be raining all weekend. Oh, it's too bad. If I could get a one more day like this, I'd be a pretty happy camper, but I guess I'll just have to suffice with this. Yeah, I'll cast around here for a little bit. If not, I'll just kind of troll this bay that I'm in. See if that works. Ooh. Weedage. Ooh, there we go. Whatever I have on, it's not very big. <laughs> uh, it feels like a little pike. First fish of the trip though, that's pretty awesome. I gotta give the sucker a kiss. Unless it's a sucker. Oh yeah! It's a toothy pike. Oh, he was almost just not ready. And he doesn't wanna let go, all right. First fish of the trip, bam. Mwah. Hit like three, four times. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Another Marshall Lake slew shark. Bam. Well, this guy hit hard. I don't know how big he is. I was just kind of minding my own business and all of a sudden he just slammed it. Another pike. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you got her in there, buddy. You got her in there. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Oh, you closed your mouth. Happens every time. Never stick your finger. Never ever stick your finger in a pike's mouth because as soon as you start filling, they clamp shut like a bear trap. And then they know they got you and they just like, Arr! all right, he's a little bloody. Let's see if he goes. I'll give him a nice release. There he goes. Awesome. Wow, what a evening. This is amazing. Oh, fishy. It's gonna say this is a, uh, it's had a little more weight, but 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> Last fish of the night. Last pike of the night. All right, cookie cutter pike. See you, buddy. I, got, I went all out and got the Saskatchewan snow beef tenderloin. If you don't know what Saskatchewan snow beef is, Wagyu with a Holstein cross, and what that equals is delicious. All right, that was an awesome day. No complaints whatsoever. I just put my stakes on. It's, with this camera, it's actually darker than it looks on the camera. So I'm gonna dig into these potatoes. I'm gonna pound this steak back as soon as it's done, and then I'm hitting the sack. So anyway, have a good night.